Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. Now, where we last left off, I died. But as you can see, I have all of my stuff back, so I did manage to go back there in time and get the stuff. I also stayed in the never for a bit, just gathering up some blaze rods, and they should be around here somewhere. I think they're in this chest, yes. We got 20 blaze rods. Weren't sure exactly how many we need, but I wanted to get a few, you know, for brewing and for the eyes of ender when we eventually make them. Also managed to get some magma cream, a few quartz as you can see, and other than that we didn't really get much else. Because I didn't want to explore the nether outside of the episode, but I did want to show off everything we got. Although, in this episode we are going to be going back to the nether. I said last episode that we would be staying in the nether for a few episodes. Not too many, just a few. We are going to be making a backup shield just in case because don't really want our shield breaking again and then dying. We don't really want that. Plus it happened off camera, my shield breaking, but it was kind of hard to kill the blazers when I didn't have a shield. So we're going to bring a backup one just in case, like I said. But yeah, so we're just going to be heading back to the Never. The goal in this episode is to just explore the fortress, because we know where it is now. We've located it. Took me a bit longer than I thought it was going to, but we have located it. And now we've got the blaze rods. We don't need to worry about fighting any more blazes, at least for now. And that is incredibly loud. Thank you, Paul. And other than that, we just need to explore it, really. I went ahead and put torches all the way. We've got torches with us as well, just so we can find our way out of the fortress. Because they are basically big old mazes. There's a ghast, so that's great. We also have plenty of bread to keep us going. Outside of the episode, I was doing a little bit of mining. And managed to find another name tag in a mineshaft, so I obviously didn't find that, that um, chest in there. It was a mineshaft I'd already explored, but I didn't find the name tag, so got an extra name tag now. We do have enough to name all of our cats, so we will be doing that at some point. We've got 36 levels, so I don't want to use those just yet for naming. We're going to enchant some diamond armor soon, maybe next episode. I'm thinking it's probably going to be next episode. But we are going to be doing that, and then we can name all of our cats. I have names for all of them except for one so far so i'll figure out a name for that one and then we'll just go ahead and name all of them and then i also have some leftover name tags so that we can help my brother out and name some of his pets because he has his free dogs he has his horse now because i don't remember if i showed that off but basically found him a horse can jump four and a half blocks which is quite impressive to be fair so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and name those, but we are back to our fortress, as you can see. We didn't go this way, so maybe we should see... I think this is a... No, there's stairs. I was going to say that I think this is a dead end. Ah, uh, it's not. It's another blaze spawner. Well, we're going to stay away from that for now, because we don't really need to mess with any blaze right now. Would the plural of blaze be blazes, or just blaze? I don't know. Because saying blazes sounds weird to me for some reason. I'm not sure. I don't know. doesn't really matter anyway. I was just thinking. Strange. Anyway, which ways have we gone? We've gone that way. We've gone this way, because this is where the spawner is. So I suppose we go this way. Yeah, we might as well. Ah, never wart. Perfect. Exactly what we're after. Looks like we're going to be doing some brewing in some upcoming episodes. We'll also grab our shovel because we don't really need a water bucket in the never. Unless we're to put water in a cauldron because that actually works and that can put us out of fire. But don't really need to do that right now. Plus we don't exactly have a cauldron on us. But not bad. 45 never wart. I will take that indeed. And there's a chest. Okay, well, let's go through here. Hopefully there's no mobs. There's not. Some gold and stuff like that. Okay, let's get the axe out because you never know. And it looks like 
this never war was sort of um sort of destroyed by lava but that's fine we'll still gather up whatever's left doesn't look like there's much but we'll gather it up nonetheless is there any left on this side yeah no there's definitely not okay well oh it's a little bit laggy here for some reason not sure exactly why I just heard a wither skeleton so we want to be careful of that it's around I don't know where it is exactly but it's around it somewhere oh diamond horse armor Okay, we'll take this. We're going to destroy the chests as well, just so we don't go and look through the ones that we've already looked through. I want to be careful because, like I said, I did hear that wither skeleton, so we don't exactly want to be getting withered and, you know, dying. Um, ah, there he is. Okay, there he is. Okay, we got this. Please don't get withered. Okay, there we go. I keep hoping for a never skull or a wither skull. But we don't have anything good on our sword for, like, looting and things like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's quite a few diamonds. Three diamonds. I mean, I'll take it. It's pretty good. Another saddle. Not bad. I mean, we've definitely got quite a few saddles. I remember when we had no saddles, and now we just have more than I know what to do with. It's kind of funny, to be fair. But I do think there's quite a few... Oh, it's a normal skeleton. I thought it was a wither skeleton I could hear, but apparently not. But yeah, like I said, when I was exploring this or looking for this on a creative world, I think there were quite a few diamonds in the chests I looked through. So I think this was actually quite a decent never fortress. I don't remember how many diamonds there were. I don't think I even searched all of the chests. But, I do know that there are a few of them here and there. So, we're going to build up quite a collection of diamonds. I mean, we have a lot. And I do mean a lot. We have nearly three stacks. Well, we have more than three stacks if we actually laid them all out singularly. Or if we put them all together, I mean. Not what I just said. But, we do have quite a few. More than we actually need. But, I mean... Uh, I'm not going to say no to diamonds. If I see diamonds, I'm going to mine them. You know? What's the, what's the point of leaving diamonds if you see them? You wanna, the whole point of diamonds is that you want them because they're rare. And plus, when the Never Update comes out, we're going to be needing them anyway. Because we're going to be, you know, needing them to make a whole new set of Neverite armor. And I know I could just wait for the Never Update to come out before I make my diamond armor but I don't want to I mean I, this is a thing right yeah we're gonna be making neverite armor when the um, update comes out but also I just want a set of diamond armor I mean what is minecraft if you don't make a set of diamond armor right lots of gold stuff that we don't really need we'll need it for the never update so the piglins don't kill us but Right now, not too useful to us, but we'll keep it anyway. Might melt it down, get some get some gold nuggets. But yeah, so I do want to make some diamond armor. Just because... Oh, great, of course. I knew I was going to do something like that. <sighs> well, I think we need to go gather up some blocks real quick. Because we don't really want to try and jump over that lava again so we are going to just mine up some blocks right here then that way we can just build over it rather than oh we just dug into another area okay i mean we'll place torches down there's a pig man anything else doesn't look like it but we'll run out of our first stack of torches we've used all of those okay maybe we don't need to go back the way we just came i mean it depends if there's something good down this way then we will explore it. But if there's not, what is this? Did I do this? Maybe? I don't know. I did this. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't go any further than this because I didn't want to explore off camera. That's right. I know it kind of sounds stupid, me saying I don't want to explore off camera considering I've already explored this in a creative world. But I don't remember <laughs> exactly the layout and what was here. I just remembered where it was or the general direction because 
I didn't want to spend ages looking for this. And there are wither skeletons. Let's try and kill these guys. Okay, not bad. We've got a stone sword and no wither skull, sadly, but... I mean, I'm not expected to get any. Once we get looting free on our sword, we'll be well away and we'll come back here. You know, maybe make a temporary wither farm because we will be, you know, resetting the nether when the update comes out. Which is going to be, I don't even know when, but at some point. But until then, you know, we can set up a nice little temporary, I don't know, blaze farm or wither skeleton farm. You know, just try and maybe we can defeat the wither at some point. I mean, we're definitely going to at some point, but it would be pretty cool. It's going to be quite funny if we defeat the wither before we defeat the ender dragon. I don't think I'm going to, because I feel like we should defeat the ender dragon before. Because for some reason, right, I mean, you have to go to the nether to get to the end, right? But then the ender dragon is like the end game boss, right? But then there's also the wither, which is like the boss after the end game boss kind of but you can also fight it before the end game boss i yeah so which one is actually the end game boss then which one's the harder one to kill i feel like the wither is harder to kill than the ender dragon in some ways i mean the ender dragon has definitely got gotten harder to kill with the dragon breath and all that recently or in the past few updates. But, I mean, it's still kind of... I don't want to say it's easy. And then when we go to fight it, I end up dying to it. So, don't really want to talk that one up. But, um, I do feel like it's easier to kill a wither. We've got some more diamonds. Okay, seven so far. And some diamond arm, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I feel like I'd kill a wither easier than I'd kill the ender dragon? I don't know. Do you guys think that as well? I don't know. Maybe you guys don't. Maybe you find the wither easier to kill. I don't know. I haven't really fought many withers in, like, legit survival, thinking about it. Huh. I mean, I guess it's not going to be a first, but it will, we'll definitely do it in this series. We're definitely going to do this legit. So, we'll do that, and then we can get a lovely, lovely beacon, and then I want to start, like, a big old mine underground, because I want... We don't need all these golden swords, we could just get rid of those. Just chucking them. I know we're littering, I know, it sucks. If I, w if I didn't, you know, if I had space, I'd keep them, but, you know, actually, you know what? Just to make it a little bit better, so it's not like I'm littering. What we'll do is we'll burn the stuff that we just threw on the ground. See? Are you kidding me? Okay, I was going to say. That thing just stayed there even after we set it on fire. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, I want to make like a big underground quarry. I don't want to call it a quarry because it's not really a quarry. Because it's just going to be a massive mine. I don't know, but it's just to gather a load of materials and things like that that we're going to need for the future. Which, also, speaking of projects for the future, I want to, like I said, we're working on the Orcish Village at some point soon. Not sure exactly when, but soon. I know that much. Um, after looking at some images on Google of, like, Orcish Villages and things like that, there is one common theme throughout every single one of them, and that theme is bones, right? Every single picture I looked at of Orcish villages for, you know, inspiration and all that, every single one of them had, like, some kind of bone in the build, right? Whether it would be pillars holding up the actual structure, or just decoration, they all had bones, right? So then I went in a creative world to try and work out some ideas for, you know, what to do for the bones. And I want, I wanted to use bone blocks, right? But then there's no fences or anything to make them pointed at the front, which is going to be a little bit of a problem because we want them to look kind of pointed like they're maybe, I don't know, 
like a rib cage or something like that. I don't know, but that's what I wanted to go for. But because there's no um, bone walls, I guess, we couldn't do that. And I'm just staying in this corner while I'm speaking. But yeah, since there's no bone walls, we can't actually do that. So then I got to thinking, well, maybe we can use smooth quartz, right? Because that looks pretty bone-like. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no quartz walls, which is kind of annoying. And I also found out that there's actually no stone walls as well, even though I could have sworn that there were, but I mean, I, I don't know, which was kind of annoying. But, so, because of that, because there were no walls or fences for quartz, I had to make the decision to instead go with diorite. And I know diorite isn't the nicest looking block in the world, okay, I do, but I think we can make it work, right? Ouch! Jesus, that guy has some great aim. Managed to get us from all the way down. That was pretty... I don't want to say congratulations or that it was good, but that was a pretty decent shot, to be fair. Good on him, I suppose. But yeah, I think we can make it work, and then if it doesn't work and it looks too bad, we'll just change the texture of unpolished diorite, right? To make it look more like bone, because I suppose in that way it can be used for plenty of other things as well, because diorite isn't the nicest block in the world. I mean, everyone knows that, but it's not the worst block in the world. I think it definitely has its uses don't want to overuse it because it, you know, it doesn't look like the best block in the world. But we're going to try it, see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, then we'll change the texture for it because that's all we really can do. But also, if we get end rods, we can make it extra pointed at the end, right? It, just stick with me here. Imagine you got two full diorite blocks, right? Then you've got a diorite wall and then an end rod, so it gradually gets smaller and more pointed. And I think that could look good, but obviously we can't get end rods anytime soon. But when we do, it could be an idea to go back to the project and just work on those details. And then we'll definitely have to change the texture of diorite because end rods and diorite don't really look too good because... End rods look very smooth. Oh, jeez. Hello. Okay. Right. Okay. Hello there. Are you not going to shoot me? I lost my train of thought there because this guy just turned up randomly. Come on. Fight me. Why isn't he shooting at me? That's actually kind of strange for a ghast. Okay. That's more like it. Oh. I could have sworn I hit that back, but hey. Really? And none of these going backwards? Okay, that's kind of annoying, but hey. We want to get the return to sender achievement, is what I'm trying to do now. But yes, I lost my train of thought because this gas just randomly turned up. But yeah, the end rods look too smooth to look at perfect with end rods, so it's either I change the diorite texture or I change the end rod texture and I don't want to change the end rod texture. So we'll think about maybe changing up the diorite at some point once we get end rods, which will be at some point, not anytime soon, I'd have thought, but hey, ouch. This ghast is really being irritating. Okay, just really? Are you kidding me? That should have gone and hit him. Are you... what? Okay, we're gonna end up dying because of this guy. Oh, come on, that was so close. Yes! Okay. Ow! That was loud. Okay, it probably wasn't as loud for you guys as it was for me, but... That achievement sound was incredibly, incredibly loud. But hey, did we get a ghast here? We did! Nice, so not only did we get the achievement, but we also got our very first ghast here. What can we get rid of to get the ghast here? Hmm. I mean, I know we don't exactly need this crafting table, 
but I kind of want it. And also, I suppose, what we can do, we don't need this. We don't need six random never wart because we've got a stack and we can just plant it. Yeah, I mean, okay. This will still be here so we can come back for it if we need to, but this episode is going to be shorter than the last few, only because we've done everything we came here to do. Actually, no we haven't. We're going to kill this guy, just because we need, you know, magma cream for fire resistance potions, so it's pretty, it's a good idea to actually get those, and wow, I'm lagging a little bit here. One minute he's not doing anything, and then the next minute he's like right next to me. Okay, that's great. Right. I like how I just go quiet when I'm focusing. It's kind of a little bit annoying, but... And also, don't hit the pigmen, please, okay? Pigmen, stay away while I'm killing these, okay? Because I don't want to hit any of you. Thank you for staying away. I appreciate that. How much magma cream? Free. It's not bad. We've got five back home, making it, what, six, seven, eight? Yeah, making it eight. So we've got eight magma cream now. So we can make plenty of fire resistance potions if we need to. Which we'll need for when the Never Update comes out, because it's going to be kind of annoying to find ancient debris, considering how rare it is. So that'll be an interesting one. But yes, let's just say I have plenty of ideas for future builds. Let's say that. I've been writing them all down. I've got a notepad, or not a notepad, but like the notepad app you can get on your PC. Got that, got one folder just full of ideas, really. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, I think we're going to be making some diamond armor and hopefully enchanting it. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode where we didn't die in the never, see? Getting, getting better, I guess, although we did kind of stay away from blazes, but hey, we didn't die. So if you have enjoyed this episode of me not dying and, you know, staying alive throughout the entire Never trip, stick around for the next episode, which will be out very, very soon, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!